Hey, welcome back to Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig, and I'm pretty excited because we're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're, we're inside the garage of Indiana Oxygen and Lincoln Electric. Now, this garage area is the only area that you can do well repairs on the car, so we see all types of metals. Now, I want to introduce a gentleman that just finished up a repair. His name is Dan Klingman. I want to talk to him about the repair in general. Dan, welcome. Thanks, Mr. Tig. You know, uh, we just saw you doing a repair, and it looked like it was an Inconel type material. Is that is that correct? Yes, it was a Inconel 625, uh, commonly used for the exhaust systems on the Indy cars due to the high heat application. Okay. Now I noticed that you had some kind of a purging. Uh, you had it taped off, and you had uh, some type of a gas going in there. What what was that gas? The gas is 100% argon. We use that as a shielding gas. It's an inert gas that we purge the inside of the exhaust system to protect the back side of that molten puddle from the oxygen and nitrogen in the air from contaminants to uh, increase the life of that part. Okay, now I also noticed that you were using a, what looked like an oversized gas lens. Now why did you use that instead of a standard setup? Well, compared to a standard setup, that was a 12 uh, cup. And the larger the cup, the better gas coverage we get on the outside of the weld. Similar concept to the back side. The more gas coverage we can use, to protect that molten puddle from the oxygen and nitrogen, the better the weld's going to be. Well, that, that was great. Well, I saw that you tack welded. Uh, you don't have absolutely ideal conditions. These are field repairs. I saw a gap in there, and uh, you managed to cover that real well. Yeah, the, the teams are, uh, they try to do the best they can with the tools they got here at the track as far as the fit up, because most of them are welders themselves, too, and they know that a fit up is a large part of the success mm -hmm. of the weld. Well, you know what I noticed is uh, that uh, Ganassi has a, a, a repair shop not terribly far from here, but the turnaround time to get that taken care of would be probably an hour to two hours. You had them turned around in about 10 minutes. Yeah. And that was actually the first part of the plan was that we were going to tack it up here and they were going to fit it on the car and then go back to the shop and weld it. Uh, the team manager says, we need, it, we need it quick, so let's finish it up right here and they're back on the track. Great. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.